The big news from the stream was Alpha 2 being in quarter 3 of 2024, but I already did a video on that, so let's get into the Ranger. As always, this is Alpha footage and has not gone through a polishing phase, and that polishing phase is probably still a long ways off, so visuals will continue to be upgraded and balancing has not been done really at all yet. That being said, I think it looked excellent, but I've really liked the direction they're taking combat. To me, it's a hybrid of Guild Wars 2 and Arcage, which to me are some of the better combat systems I've played in an MMO. Getting straight into a recap of what we saw, we saw the snipe ability again. We had seen this ability before, but it has gotten some new visuals to go with it. Snipe is intended to be an alpha striker opener type of ability as it does root you in place and has a long cast time. It also had a talent that gives the player a hasting snipe buff for 5 seconds and increases your attack speed by 20%. The cooldown once he put his cooldowns back to normal was 30 seconds on Snipe. We also saw the Alpha 2 combat skill tree for the first time. There is a lot of options already and it will likely get a lot more complex over time. Active abilities can be chosen in the skill tree and are represented by square icons. Passives are represented by circular icons. The weapon skill tree was very much early and work in progress, so it was very basic. In this case, we saw the shortbow skill tree since he was using a shortbow. The main thing they showcased is how the shortbow weapon combo can go from 4 hits baseline to 6 hits with all the skill tree points taken. The 5th and 6th steps of the chain add 50% to the total length of the combo but add some very strong proc effects. The 5th gives a buff that gives 3 seconds of increased critical strike. The 6th gives a buff called Aerostorm that will fire a second projectile on each hit of the target for about 4 seconds. The 6 hit combo that gives extra projectiles called Aerostorm does combo well with certain rapid fire skills like Barrage, which is the next skill they showcased. Barrage fires a continual burst of arrows at your target for 1.5 seconds, each only does 12% damage but it fires a lot of arrows in that time. The next ability showcased was called Headshot, which does 175% physical damage and has an 8 second cooldown. This can be spec to become an execute type of ability with a talent that causes it to do 50% increased damage on targets under 50% health. In addition, it can have its cooldown reduced 50% if your target is marked. Marks are one of the class resources in essence for rangers. Clerics have conviction and divine power, tanks have courage, and rangers have a few different things like marks and hunts. There are currently three marks, Mark of the Tiger, Raven, and Bear. Marks are a target debuff ability and when you use one of them, all of them go on a 30 second cooldown. Mark of the Tiger increases critical chance by 50%, Mark of the Raven does bonus damage each time the target is hit, Mark of the Bear reduces the target's mitigation by 25%. All of the marks are off instant cast global cooldown abilities, meaning you can cast them while channeling or casting another ability. Hunts are self buffs again and we have Hunt of the Tiger, Raven, and Bear again. Hunt of the Tiger gives 10% increased critical jam. Raven gives increased physical penetration and Hunt of the Bear gives yourself increased physical mitigation. I assume the hunts might be off global cooldown abilities as well, but I never saw them used in that way so cannot confirm. Next we have Scattershot. This is a conal AoE that can be held to narrow the cone and do more damage in a smaller area and has a 10 second cooldown. The conal animation is only shown to the caster. Airstrike was the next skill shown. It has seen some changes since we last saw it. You can now change directions in air and the animations have seen some big updates. This is a very strong skill since it does CC with a 3 second root effect, AoE damage, and moves the ranger. So the cooldown is going to be pretty long on this one. In this showcase it was 18 seconds. Thundering Shot was the next ability showcased. This ability has an extra effect if your target is more than 10 meters away as it does some splash AoE damage. It had a 20 second cooldown as well. Next we saw Lightning Reload. This allows you to use an ability without triggering its cooldown or to use an ability that is currently on cooldown. This can be used to do a burst combo with abilities like Headshot, especially if you have the 50% cooldown reduction with a mark on your target talent to squeeze in 3 headshots pretty quickly. Then we saw Bear Trap. This is a trap that you can place with a targeting circle at a fairly significant distance. If triggered, your target becomes rooted for 2 seconds. Then we had a CC break for the Ranger called the Wild. This removes all movement impairing CC and gives a run speed buff for 8 seconds. It also blocks incoming snares and roots for the duration. Then we saw Raining Death. This is another frontal cone AoE that only the caster can see the conal animation. All targets in the cone will get hit by damage twice even if the animation does not currently show that. This is something they say they are working on in terms of the animation properly reflecting the damage. 
This does a lot of damage, so of course it's going to have a long cooldown. In this showcase, the cooldown was 45 seconds. Then we saw Disengage. This does a snare, soft CC on your target if they're in melee rage, and flips the ranger backwards. If you hit an enemy, the cooldown is reset on the ability. And this can be talented to move the ranger in their current direction instead of backwards. Finally, we saw Imbued Ammo. There are three of these imbues that are self buffs that give an extra effect on the next 10 attacks, and changes the projectile animation to reflect the effect. Weighted applies a snare, barbed applies a bleed, and concussive applies the staggered status effect. Finally, corruption is in the game and working as Steven did kill the tank he was using to showcase skills and did become corrupted as the tank never fought back. And that is all for the Ranger Showcase. I think combat is moving in the right direction and looks very good so far. And with Q3 being the alpha date, I think I'm going to go with like one Ashes video a week for quarter one. Quarter two, I might increase that or maybe I'll start trying to live stream once per week again, which I've tried a few times and didn't stick with. And certainly in Q3, I will ramp up quite a bit. Something along those lines but we'll play it by ear and see how everything goes with the testing either way thanks for watching to the end and i'll see you guys in the next video